Hello, all you positive heads out there. It's so good to be back with all you beautiful reflections of the one source consciousness that creates and animates all things. If you're new to this podcast, of course, we are super happy to have you here. And we just ask that you bring an open mind and heart to your listening experience and to be prepared to explore vantage points that I'm convinced will help shift or solidify your current understanding of the ultimate nature of reality in a way that is extremely empowering. Speaking of exploring powerful perspectives, I'm super excited to announce the release of my very first book, The Golden Key, Modern Alchemy to Unlock Infinite Abundance. If you're ready to alchemize the circumstances in your life so that your abundance expands to an entirely new level in 2021, head over to goldenkey.gift to download the audio or ebook as my gift to you by using the code POSITIVEHEAD. All right, all you positive heads, welcome. Welcome, one and all. I am super grateful that you joined me today on yet another beautifully magical day on this amazing planet that we get to have such wonderful experiences on. And I know a lot of us often feel like we need to control our experiences, control the outcome of the things that we are experiencing here because maybe we've had some rough times. Maybe there have been some things that have happened in the past and we don't want them to happen again. And so we try to control our environment. We try to control certain outcomes of things so that that doesn't happen again. And the thing is, when we start to do that, we are setting up so much resistance for ourselves. And we can do it in so many different ways, just expecting an experience to be a certain way. And then we can feel disappointed if it doesn't go that way, and all sorts of other emotions. And the reason why this came up is because one of the biggest challenges that I have with clients in uh, the hypnotic regression sessions that I do, QHHT sessions, the biggest impediment, I'll call it, is when a client is trying to control the outcome of their session. And this is not something that we do consciously, but it's like this program that we're running to keep ourselves safe. And the thing is, we are safe. We already are safe. And when we do this, we set up so much resistance. And by this setting up of the resistance, we don't get the outcome that we actually desire, that we actually want. And so it's like this thing that we're doing to ourselves by getting in our own way, and we don't even realize that we do it. And the thing is about it is that it's so simple to not do it. It's just not easy. The simple piece is just surrendering, surrendering to it, allowing it to be whatever it's going to be. It's okay. Your inner being knows exactly where you are, exactly where you need to be, and will always guide you along that path. And the only way that we don't see that guidance, that path, those breadcrumbs is if we're setting up resistance, if it has to look a certain way, if it needs to feel a certain way, just allowing it to be whatever it's going to be and letting it play out and letting it just be that experience and being in the moment of that experience without having to control the outcome or the appearance of it. In this way, when we can just let it go and allow our inner being to guide us down this beautiful flowing path that knows where to go very specifically, when we can do that, we actually can get to where we're going. Otherwise, we don't. Otherwise, we're throwing our oar right down down into the water to hold us there in that spot, creating so much resistance or even trying to paddle upstream. 
when all we need to do is just let it go. Allow it to be what it's going to be and be okay in that moment with whatever it is. And the more we can do that, being okay in the moment, being content in the moment, the more our moments are content. The more we start to recognize where our balance is off, where we're not in complete harmony and unity with who we know we truly are, the more we understand this about ourselves, the more we recognize it, and the more we can rebalance it. And this is where, when we think about control, the only thing we have control over is ourselves. And we often talk about the control of our thoughts. And this word control gets to me a bit because I wish we had different words for control. Like the Greeks had five different words for love because there's so many different meanings to love. But control is the same way to me because the control of ourselves really, to me, means an awareness of where we are and then the ability to think a different thought. So I'm aware of this thought that I'm thinking and I would rather think this thought. And so I choose to think this thought instead. And the more I choose to think this other thought instead, this better thought, the more those thoughts will flow in. Because in this way, we're tuning into a higher vibration, the vibration that is our inner being. This control piece can be our biggest blockage to moving along our path. It is so evident in my practice, and I think it is a metaphor for life. And so I happened upon an Abraham Hicks clip about this topic that I would love to share. I haven't done that in so long, and it just happens to be perfect. Take a listen. Your in is on it in a way that it has never been before, and that you have a new opportunity for realizing, for receiving the vibrations that will turn to thoughts and the thoughts that will turn to things on every subject that matters to you. For a while, we were calling this gathering the science of deliberate creation, but you got nutty about it. You became too overactive about trying to control your thoughts. We don't want you to control your thoughts. We want thoughts to flow forth from you freely. We just want you to understand what the vibrational nature of the thoughts that are flowing forth from you is. We want you to recognize moment by moment, the harmony or discord in the thought that you are thinking from the thought that your inner being is thinking about the same thing at the same time, which means you have to come to realize that you have source energy flowing with you and you and aware of where you are in every moment in time and where you more importantly are in relationship to everything that you've already become. We want you to know that your inner being has already bridged that gap between your belief and your desire. And you can't maintain a belief that goes against your desire and ever feel anything less than negative emotion. We think it is such a wonderful thing when you're moving through your day to day experience and you walk into a situation, which is the remnant of past energy that has been flowed by you and that you experience things unwanted and you know that they're unwanted and you're having an emotional reaction to them and throwing your own little fit in varying degrees as you attempt to control the conditions, which you never can. As humans are spending so much time, we're representing the manifested edge over here where your friends are and where the stuff you see and hear and smell and taste and touch is. So you're having this knee jerk reaction to this. And while you're having this knee jerk reaction to this, your inner being is knowing something so important. Your inner being is knowing that you are expanding in this moment and your inner being is knowing exactly how to lead you from where you are to everything that you want relative to everything that you've ever lived. Your inner being knows that as you've lived this moment and many others like them, that you have carved out a very specific statement of who you are and what you want and how you want to live and be in the world. Every intention, some of which you were born with, some that you've 
come along on your physical trail as you've been moving through time and space with others so you've launched these rockets of desire and there's a vibrational reality that your inner being knows full well and your inner being knows in every moment where you stand in what you want to call your now in relation to call your now in relationship to all that you have become so as you begin to put together the things that you've been hearing from us and others and the things that life has been helping you to understand you come to this clarity this new found clarity that goes like this I'm a human being but I am far more than that and as I have human experiences I'm launching rockets of desire to cause my human experience and that of others around me to be more wonderful than ever before and if I stay in the mode of just exploring what is already created my satisfaction factor will wither away as time goes by I will become despondent as I look at things I can't control I will feel uneasy as I see in directions that are not comfortable to me I will feel inept and incapable as I find myself feeling powerless or I find myself in confusion about what to do your inner being knows that even though you may be feeling some of those things or all of those things in great degree or in slight degree your inner being knows that there is a vibration of clarity and knows what the path of least resistance is to help you find that path of clarity from where you are your inner being wants you to be out here in the world not hiding away from the discomfort of things you can't control your inner being wants you to be out living robustly in this world and having those experiences that are maybe even causing you some negative emotion but in the knowledge of what negative emotion means and in the understanding that you can close that gap and come into vibrational harmony with who you are and all that you want when you have you have knowledge of how to subtly understand what's going on within you energetically and you have tools to do what you need to do in order to come into full vibrational alignment with all that you are then you can be out in the world you can listen to the diverse points of view you can pay attention to the things that are going on with no fear or risk of losing yourself in this vastness you're going to come into your full power and it is our expectation that it may happen right before your eyes in the days that are before us it is our desire that you come to know the fullness of who you are and not just know it intellectually not just know it conceptually but know it because you feel it moment by moment there is something so satisfying about clarity that comes from alignment and there is something so satisfying about getting ready to get ready to get ready to get ready to get ready most most humans think here I am standing over here with things I don't want or without things that I do want and it feels like such a big chore because I've not been able to do it yet to get to a place of satisfaction relative to that or that or that or that or that and you make it such a big jump you make it feel like it is so impossible to get to because this much time has gone by and you haven't found it or this many things have happened and you haven't found it but what we want you to understand and it is our expectation that you will as we are having these wonderful conversations together we want you to understand that it is a simple vibrational tuning that you have the ability to understand and to apply and as you begin reaching for the satisfaction of simple alignment of the satisfaction of simple alignment not the full manifestation just the satisfaction of simple alignment and once you are willing to let the satisfaction of that simple alignment be enough for now once you are able to say and mean it I'm getting ready to get ready and your friends will say well, what does that mean in terms of the things you want and you'll say it means I'm on the way and they'll say well how do you know if you cannot see them and you say I know I know because I'm getting ready to get ready and they'll say well, when are you gonna get all the way ready and you say that is irrelevant to me the only thing that is relevant to me is getting ready to get ready well how do you know that you're ready to be ready I feel satisfied where I am now what what's wrong with you you're satisfied with where you are now when there's no evidence of what you want oh there's evidence of what I want because I can feel satisfaction as I'm getting ready to be ready 
But why do you claim satisfaction when there is such a gap between what you say you want or you say you are and what you are manifesting? Because I am using a different criteria. I'm using the criteria of conscious vibrational awareness of alignment. I'm paying attention to my emotional guidance system. I'm finding, con I'm finding contentment and satisfaction and I'm letting that be what I'm reaching for because I'm understanding that if I'm able to maintain for as little as 17 seconds, a thought that gives me even the slightest feeling of contentment, that law of attraction will begin adding momentum to that thought and to that thought and to that thought and to that thought until in time there will be enough momentum in my vibrational frequency that something more than the emotion of satisfaction will be mined, a thought will occur to me. A thought will occur to me that is so loud and so pure that I can't miss it. And the satisfaction factor of that thought will be so intense that I will know that I'm on to something and nothing will dissuade me from the satisfaction that I feel because I know that I'm getting ready to be ready. And for right now, that's enough. And they will say, something is very wrong with you. <laughs> and you'll say, I know, but I'm getting ready to be ready, ready. I'm getting ready to be ready. As you begin to discover, many of you are already discovering it, the vibrational frequency of alignment with the source within you. And you maintain more often that steady place of love and appreciation for no good reason other than that you're not doing that thing you do that's keeping you from it. Then out of the absence of resistance, law of attraction will carve a route for you swiftly and directly to all things that you desire and in the beginning it will feel to you that that is the real reason for this message oh abraham's showing us how to manifest the things that have been manifestingly missing in our experience and we say yeah 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 that's part of it <laughs> but what's really going on is that we are helping you to remember helping you to rediscover as these creative geniuses as these ongoing, never ending, far reaching, always wanting more because you are the expanding beings in this universe. You are the fun loving otters of the universe. You are the creative genius of the universe. You've come with the purpose of discovering satisfaction while you do the natural thing of expanding. Others will say, what good are you unto the whole? If you are selfishly serving your own satisfaction and in time you'll be able to explain to them that until you learned how to discover the vibrational frequency of alignment and therefore satisfaction that you couldn't begin to fulfill your reason for being and that once you did discover it that your reason for being became evident in every moment of every day so that you were no longer like so many people who live in a sort of desert looking out there for some future experience, some oasis somewhere. Instead, you are someone standing in full receipt of satisfying experiences in every moment of every day. Because you are now, through your absence of resistance, seeing the world through the eyes of Source. Source who understands the importance of you. Source who understands why you're here in this body. Source that understands the purpose and the value of the argument that you had with someone today. Source who understands the clarification that came from you and the birthing of or the amending of a desire. Source who understands unequivocally your worthiness and your goodness. Source who understands the importance of you finding the satisfaction that you were born with and that you came here to exhibit in every moment of your life experience. As you playing with each other or arguing with each other, whatever you choose to do in the days and hours that are before you. It is our promise to you that no matter what is happening in what you want to call real life experience, it is a launching off place for everything that follows. And so to begin with, we would like to encourage you to spend not one moment being unhappy with yourself or any other about anything that happens while you're together in these days. If you have an argument, so be it. It has value. If you have a misunderstanding, 
that's just right too if someone says something to you that hurts your feelings hooray life is working the way you intended it to step one is an important part of the equation but we also know that as a result of this perfect co-creating that we are all about together that you have set into motion this voyage long before you dragged your physical bodies here it is our knowing that you have created a vibrational reality that is ripe and ready to be received by you but it cannot show itself to you you must tune to the frequency of it so that you can receive it that's the thing about this creative experience that we are all about there is no assertion and even though the source within you and your inner being knows everything you want and where it is in relationship to where you are and even though your inner being is pointing and encouraging and knowing and calling you home to the vibrational frequency of who you are there is no assertion there's just a steady beaming of a vibrational frequency that you have to find some way of matching up with and that is the best definition of satisfaction I love how she explained at the beginning there about trying to control your thoughts and how they don't want us to try to control our thoughts. They don't want us to try to do anything. When we try, we don't do. And it's this little conundrum. But when we don't try, then we do. And what she was saying there is just allowing the thoughts to flow through you freely. And being able to just recognize them, understanding what the nature of that vibration is. And we can do that. And you can understand, is this in harmony with my inner being? Or is this in discord or not in harmony with who I am? Then we become more and more aware. And this is the practice. This is the practice that you can say, all right, I'm aware of this now. What's this other thought that I would rather think? I don't really enjoy this feeling. And the way to change that, the way to control, if I had a better word, I would use it. The way to control that is by tuning in your vibration, your frequency, because it is already there. You just need to tune yourself to it. Source energy, creator energy, God energy, whatever you want to call it, is within you, flowing through you all of the time. And the more that we can be aware of that in every moment, the more we are aware of it in every moment, the more it becomes our reality. This is a question that comes up for people all the time in creating their own reality and how that works when the world around them doesn't seem to be the creation that they want to create. But when you are in tune to these certain vibrations of your inner being, of these higher vibrational frequencies, then that is then what the external world will reflect to you when you go out and experience it. Because the only reason we have experiences that are in discordance or not in harmony with the unity that we are with the infinite source being that our inner being knows we are is so that we can recognize that so that we can come into alignment with that that is the beauty of experiencing unwanted things or negative emotions negative anything when we understand that these are our greatest teachers and without them we wouldn't have seen our path as clear they really point us in the direction of what we want by showing us what we don't. And so we can be so grateful for all of the negative experiences that we've ever had because it's leading us in the right direction. I also really loved when she was talking about getting ready to get ready because that's something I feel I do all the time. I'm always 
getting ready to get ready. Really? And I didn't realize it until she said it like that, that what I'm actually doing is just being content in the moment, doing what I'm doing, being super happy about getting ready to get ready. Just kind of, I call it putzing. I putz around. I'm enjoying just being in the moment, whether I'm doing a dish or cleaning up or sitting outside under the tree. I'm getting ready to get ready. And I'm enjoying the contentment and the satisfaction of that moment. It's such a beautiful thing to be able to do. And if we all could just do it all the time, I'm still working on that one myself, because I'm still learning as we all are. And so still having the experiences that point me in the direction of clarity and remind me, yes, being content in this moment is what matters. And every moment that we can do that provides the momentum for the next moment and the next moment after that. And it's just exponential. Such an important thing is trusting our inner knowing. And that comes down to trusting how we feel. And it's totally okay if people think there's something wrong with you. I love that she said that. I know, it's all right, but I'm getting ready to get ready. Because all this time what you're doing is aligning with the source being that you are, that infinite fractal of source, that huge bright light that you are. And when you remember that, you can maintain this place of love and appreciation. And then those things that you desire just come because you are aligning with it. We all came here with a plan, every single one of us. We wanted to do certain things, have certain experiences. Not all of them are going to be unicorns and rainbows. But as we experience, we expand, and we, come, we become more and more of who we truly are. As she said at the end there, there is no assertion. Your inner being is always calling you home to who you are. There is no assertion. Just a steady beaming of vibrational frequency that you have to match up with. Simple, not always easy, takes a little practice. But the more we become aware, the more we understand, the more we can shift our focus, the more we can think a different thought and change our vibration and align with who we truly are. I think that's it for me today, everyone. I'm going to leave you with a song. This is Sat Song, This Place, featuring Trevor Hall. Until next time, love you all. Also, before we queue up today's song, as a quick reminder, don't forget to download the Golden Key audio or ebook as my free gift to you at goldenkey.gift using the Golden Key code POSITIVEHEAD. And please, if you enjoy my gift, leave a positive review on Amazon so others can unlock their lives with the help of the Golden Key as well. Let's see your face.
songs are so Songs are sung. Take me to 